guys welcome to code 4 today we will be solving some section b problems from igcc computer science paper 2 without further ado let's get started the paper code is 047823 may june series 2017 this section of program code asks for 50 numbers to be entered the total and average of the numbers are calculated so basic thing to follow in this type of question is first you read the code then analyze which is the mistake Pause this video to read the code. Now, there are four errors in this code. State the line number for each error and write the correct code for that line. As you can see, the first error comes in line number two. It is mentioned counter is equal to 50. At the start, counter should be zero. So this is the correct code for line number two. The next error is in line number seven. It is mentioned total plus number is equal to total. It should be the other way around. Total is equal to total plus number. Now, the error number 3 comes at line number 8. Number is equal to number plus 1. But actually, here it should be counter is equal to counter plus 1. As each time user inputs, the counter should increase so until the counter becomes 50. So the correct code for this line is counter is equal to counter plus 1. The last error is in line number 10. Average is equal to number multiplied by counter. We all know that average is division. And here it should not be number, it should be total. So the correct code for this average is equal to total by 50 or you can write total by counter. This is the end of first question. Let's move on to the next question. Satellite navigation system works using destination details centered by the user. Either a new destination or chosen from previously saved destination. The satellite navigation system will then output direction to the destination in the form of either a visual map or a list of direction. A satellite navigation system is an example of a computer system that is made up of subsystems. This structure diagram shows some of its subsystems. Complete the diagram by filling in the empty box. As you can see here, there are three empty box here. So we all know that the next subsystem should be output direction. As it is mentioned in the question that it will be either in a form of visual map or a list of direction. So the answer for this missing box is all. Output directions. Now the subsystem for input destination should be either a previously saved destination or a new destination. So the answer should be new or unsaved. This will fetch you two marks. This is the end of the question. Next question. For each of the four statements in the table, place a tick in the correct column to show whether it is an example of validation or verification. The statements are to automatically check the accuracy of a barcode, to check if the data input is sensible, to check if the data input matches the data that has been supplied, to automatically check the all required data fields have been completed. Now let's learn what is validation and verification. Validation is applying certain rules to the data that user inputs, whereas verification is checking whether the user has given the right input. Validation examples include a range check, type check, format check, etc. So the first statement is automatically a validation check as it is checking the accuracy. The next statement is also a validation check since it is like a format check. The third statement is a verification check as it checking whether the input is right on what is expected. The last statement is to automatically check that all required data fields have been completed. This is also a validation check. It's, it is like presence check. This is the end of the fourth question. The next question. Describe the purpose of each statement in this algorithm. Pause this video to read the algorithm. The first statement is a loop with 300 repetitions. This is the purpose of this line. The next line is the values are being inserted into an array. The last line is increasing loop counter. The next question. Identify using pseudocode 
another loop structure that the algorithm in part a could have used so we all know there is three types of loop structures repeat until while do and while and the other thing which is mentioned here for to next so in this question you can write either repeat until or while do and while both will fetch you one mark write an algorithm using pseudocode to input a number between 0 and 100 inclusive the algorithm should prompt for the input and output an error message if the number is outside this range i hope you understood this question as it is an easy one so the first line should ask should be the output that is enter a number between 0 and 100 next line should ask a input so we name it as input number next should be an if statement that is if number is less than 0 or greater than 100 then use then output should be your number outside the range this is the error message which is asked by the question since we have used the if we have to end the algorithm using the end if this is the end of this question the next question this flow chart inputs a range of temperature in degree fahrenheit as each temperature is input it is compared with the previous highest temperature if it is higher than the current highest it replaces the previous highest temperature and then is converted to degree celsius for ease of calculation the final step of the fahrenheit to celsius conversion has been approximated as division by 2 when minus 1 is entered the input process stop and the highest temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius is the output. Now take a look at this flowchart. They have mentioned the highest Fahrenheit recorded is minus 100 and also the highest Celsius recorded is minus 100. So this is the first value for our trace table. So let's write down minus 100 and minus 100 as I said to earlier. Now the first input is 68. Now we have to use this flowchart. 68, is it minus 1? No. So is it greater than highest Fahrenheit recorded? Highest Fahrenheit recorded is minus 100. 68 is definitely greater than minus 100. So it replaces the original and we have to do minus 32 divided by 2. So highest Fahrenheit is 68 and minus 32 divided by 2 gives 18 and the next input is 46. Now as we remember it asks whether it is highest than 68 but it is definitely not. So again it will become 68, 18. And the next is 50. This is also not greater than 68. So let's move to the next one. The next one is 86. It is definitely greater than 68. So the highest Fahrenheit recorded now will be 86. Now minus 32 divided by 2 gives 27. Now the next inputs are 65, 50, 40, 30. None of them are greater than 86. So we have to write down 86, 27 again till minus 1 comes.
now the input is minus 1 so this ends the process as it is mentioned in the question now the output should be highest temperature recorded is 86 Fahrenheit and 27 degrees Celsius so this will fetch you 5 marks this is the end of the fifth question sorry sixth question now we have come to the last question of this section b as you all know the last question is always database let's read the question a television store has a database table tv stock for its new range of television the table stores the screen size of each tv whether it will show 3d whether the screen is curved or flat if the internet is available on the tv if it has built-in hard disk drive and the price part of the database table is shown below pause the video to see the database table now the first question state the type of the field tv id and give a reason for your choice so let's look at the table so this should be definitely the primary key because it has alphanumerical data as this is used to identify the rest of the following it is always unique so this the answer for this question is primary key since the data contains alphanumerical values Let's move on to the next subdivision. Complete the table with the most appropriate data type for each field. As you know, there are many data types like integer, real, boolean, text, currency, number, string. So the field name is screen size. Screen size is 80, 65, 60. So this is a type of number. So the data type is number. Now 3D. It has yes or no. Yes or no comes under Boolean. Word flat has some text. So this data type is text. Internet HDD price. So, internet and HDD has yes or no. So, both this boolean. And the price has some currency values. So, this data type is currency. Now, let's move to the last subdivision. Use the query by example grid below to provide a list of all of the curved system TVs that have a built-in hard disk drive. Make sure the list only displays the TV ID, the price and the screen size in ascending order of the price. So the field name should be as mentioned above TV ID, screen size, load flat, HDD and price. So the table is TV stock. So they have mentioned the price should be in ascending order. So in sort we write ascending. So in the question they have stated make sure the list only displays the TV ID, the price and the screen size. So show should be TV ID, screen size and the price.
now the criteria the curved flat should be cv and the hvd should be yes this will fetch you 5 marks thank you for listening to the video